This is your elbow escape uh, for the mount for white and blue belt. All right, so we'll start with the with the top side uh, shot first. So typically with an elbow escape, what's going to happen is he's going to be based out and his knees are going to be flared. So if you saw the trap and roll video, the trap and roll isn't going to work even if I grab the arm because his knee is flared out. I can get my fist in between my hip and his knee. So he's got another point of base here. Even if his hand's trapped, when I go to bridge him, see, he's got his knee here. So this is where the elbow escapes uh, used. So I'm not gonna worry so much about the hand positioning here uh, as, as to what I'm doing with my legs. But there's, there's two variations I wanna show you. There's a sportive aspect of jiu-jitsu variation, and then there's more of a self-defense aspect. So when his weight's in his hands, I wanna keep his weight on the floor for self-defense. If he sits up, he can punch me. So what I'm gonna do is, and we'll go over the leg variation here in a second, but with my hand, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snake it underneath of his armpit behind his back, and I reach up here towards this far shoulder. And I keep my elbow tight to his body. The other hand, I'm gonna crunch towards this leg and use my elbow as a frame on him. This helps to keep his weight on his hands. Go ahead and try to sit up, Ryan. It's tough for him to sit up and punch me. He can, but it's a lot tougher than if I just chill. Right, now, now he's got a field day. Hopefully I got a good dental play. Sportive aspect of jiu-jitsu version, some people will go across with both ends and frame on the hip. I'm not a fan of doing that because now my arm is uh, exposed, right? My elbow's lifted away from my body on this side. So what I do is I keep both elbows in and I use my hands on the hips. Okay, so that's the sportive aspect of my hand positioning and then the self-defense aspect would be reaching around the back and grabbing at the far shoulder to control the posture. Okay, so now let's flip around 180 degrees to show you the way. So particularly with the elbow escape, what I have to do is I need to straighten one of my legs and get it down to the floor. Now it's not good enough for me to just chill like this. I have to start getting onto my side a little bit. So I take my, my free leg that's not straight, I bring it as close to my butt as possible, and I angle my hip so that my knee is now pointing uh, 90 degrees from where it was. Up to the left, or up and to the right, whichever way. Now, I'm able to start sneaking under his leg a little bit. So variation number one, standard elbow escape. I'm gonna keep my elbow tight to his knee here, and I start crunching towards his knee, and I'm giving a slight push with my elbow as I bring my, my knee towards my elbow. So come around this way so you can get a good angle on the, on the leg here. So, post the leg down. I'm gonna bring my elbow in, and I bring my knee to my elbow. Collect the leg, and now I'm into the half guard. Okay? And we'll go over this, uh, how to get out of the half guard here uh, in one of the later videos. So come back around front. So variation number one, flatten the leg, crunch to my side, and I collect the leg. Variation number two, he's, he knows jujitsu a little bit. He's not just gonna let me slide under his leg. So what he does now is he's gonna he's gonna um, use your toes on the mat like a, like a ramp. Okay? So keep your knee down. So I can't I can't slide under his leg anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I crunch to my side, I'm still having trouble getting under. So I take this far leg and I hook with my feet. From here I lift and I bring my leg through. Ready to do a lockdown, or I can come back to the half guard start getting back to my full row. Okay? So one more time. Standard. Fish hook. I hook it with my, with my butterfly hook from my foot here. Number three, uh, we have little uh, number three, variation number A, variation number B. So number three is I go to hook the foot. He's on to me. He lifts his foot up in the air. I can't hook his foot anymore, so I go over the top of him. And I drag his heel. Okay? I'll have the heel drag, or I could do variation number B, which is actually my favorite elbow escape. Instead of trying to, instead of trying to get under the leg, I just step over and drag the heel in the quarter guard. Now I can push with the hand and start getting the half guard. Okay? So one more time, I'll show you all of them from the side angle here. 
So variation number one, flatten my leg. Get my toes as close to my butt as possible. Start angling a little bit. I crunch to the knee as close as I can. If his arm's in the way, that's fine, right? And I use my elbow and my knee and I bring them as close together as possible. Collect the leg, okay? Variation number two, his foot's like a ramp. I can't get under his foot anymore. So what I do is I hook it with my other one. Lift, come right into a lockdown or into my standard hat. Number three, he's the one to me. I go for a fish hook and I step right over into a heel drag. And the final variation, step over, get him into the quarter guard, use the hand for support. So now, let's rotate to the head. So that's our four elbow escape variations. So once I get to the half guard here, I'm controlling the leg. What I'm gonna to wanna to do is hip escape out the other way, okay? When we talk self-defense here, I want inside hand positioning, controlling the head, framing on the bicep here. He's gonna have a hard time punching me this way. And I want my half guard good, okay? Now you'll see this big gap here. This is where I bring my leg through and I shrimp or hip escape to the other side to get my leg free. And now I'm back into stage one of the closed guard. Okay, so that's how we're gonna recover the guard. So one more time on the guard recovery, different angle. Let's get a little bit. Get with the half guard. Self-defense, I want inside hand positioning. Sport jiu-jitsu, doesn't necessarily matter. Inside hand positioning is always good for when we talk guard retention. So I would recommend you do that all the time. So I'm gonna escape out, get an underhook, bring my leg through. Notice my foot's trapped. So I have to go that way with my, my hips, and I can pull the foot out, pull it back into the closed guard here. Okay, control the head, control the bicep, either side. Let your elbow escape, and the weight to blue belt.